How's it going, nerds? I'm Athlon. This is Let Me Explain, basically a small series where I just rant about topics in-game, stuff out of game, sometime soon. But the topic for today's episode is probably one of the biggest ones that I'm going to talk about as of the time being, which is the predicament of Astrocraft and what it's probably going to entail for the future, or what could possibly go, like, super wrong. And what I'm talking about is the lack of longevity that this game has right now there are no players almost and from a lot of the servers i've heard and they aren't getting any new ones and people are leaving and from what i see in this game that it's definitely the biggest game ever like the biggest app game game from what i see in theory this should have been bigger than some of the bigger app games like pokemon go or uh, League of Legends, but the thing is that they have advertising, which this game does not. So, the predicament is in, I think, yeah, in, I think, a month or two, Astrocraft will either rebrand, which is what they did before, like a year before, which was, uh, they rebranded to Astrocraft. The original name was Rover Rage, kind of cringe, and they did a lot of, uh, things like, um, I guess, yeah, they did some artistical things and to keep up the game's longevity and all that. But they actually advertised Astrocraft for a good bit until they fell off maybe, I think, three months from when they rebranded, which really sucked. And to be honest, if they don't do that, this game is dead. It can't come back to life. So basically what I'm betting on right now is that they decide to rebrand and everything will be okay though. We'll have another chance of making this game live again. Hopefully that will happen. Which, to be honest, my guess is that they'll probably rebrand. But another guess is, like I said, they won't do anything. The game will stay in its current state. They'll probably keep updating it. But none of the things will be- none of the things will ever get out. It, this game will never be big. Unless the company NetEase will ev ever advertise this game. If they don't advertise this game, then this biggest game in the app game market, I'm not even lying, it is huge, there's so much you can do, and in theory, this should have worked, it really should have. It should have kept, like, the money to the company going, and, heck, it, it isn't pay, uh, pay to play, like other games like Mech Arena. This game actually has substance in it. You can do so much, the only limit is your imagination. And the only reason why this game did not survive is because of their own devs, their own administrators, and oh my gosh, this it could have been so much more. There even could have been a competitive realm to it. However, how they had to rank the leaderboards, this really could have been a competitive game. Maybe even the first competitive esports game. I'm not even lying. But yeah, that is the predicament of Astrocraft. The current state of Astrocraft right now is just about dead. I mean, there's still people playing, like me, a few other pros. But most of it are custom rooms you can barely ever find. Test matches, like Infinite Arena. Or even if you're struggling, you know, which was always alive, but is now pretty much dead. You're in queue forever, and once you are in queue, they put you in an empty match, and you're just waiting there, twiddling your thumbs. Which really sucks. It really does. It shouldn't. It should have been way more. But the lack of leadership and the lack of basically keeping people informed was what happened to this game. Uh, it really sucks to say it, but oh my gosh. I really do hope that they do it. At least NetEase has some compassion on this game. Please do advertise. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, that's the current state. And that's where we are right now. That's where I want this game to be. It's very big. And we can't, all we have to do is wait. Just wait for another month. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.